Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with Google Forms. Our viewer is trying to send form data to Google via an embedded form, but is running into cores errors. Let's break down the question and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you work through that resolution. Let's continue on. To address the cores issue when sending data to Google Forms, we first need to understand what cores is. Cores stands for cross-origin resource sharing and it restricts web pages from making requests to a different domain than the one that served the web page. In your case, you're trying to send form data to a Google Forms endpoint from your own domain. This can lead to cores errors if the server does not allow requests from your origin. One common workaround is to use a proxy server. Another option is to ensure that your form submission is done using the correct method. In your JavaScript code, you are using jQuery's AJAX method. Make sure that the URL you are posting to is correct and that you are using the right entry IDs. Additionally, consider using the Fetch API instead of jQuery's AJAX. The Fetch API provides a more modern approach to making network requests and may help avoid some course issues. Lastly, if you continue to face course issues, you might want to look into server-side solutions, such as creating a simple backend that handles the form submission and forwards it to Google Forms. This way, your front-end will communicate with your back-end, avoiding course restrictions. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get around course with embedded Google Forms, you can use a hidden iframe to handle form submissions. First, set your form's target to the iframe's name. When the form is submitted, the iframe will reload with a confirmation message. Here's an example of how to set up your form. Use the action URL from Google Forms and include an input field. Don't forget to create the iframe with the same ID and name. After your form and iframe, add JavaScript to set the target and detect when the iframe reloads. This allows you to perform actions like displaying a message or redirecting the user. Remember, you can't check the response directly due to cross-origin restrictions, but you can assume the submission was successful if the iframe reloads. To keep things tidy, you can hide the iframe using CSS. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.